First of all, you take incredible notes for... Yeah, I wasn't go expecting ahead and say it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead and say it. Mm -hmm. For what? I did not expect it from... someone such as himself. But he kind of removes himself from Orlo and takes a few steps away. And... kind of just, like, puts his head down a little bit and, like, adjusts himself and says, Look, I... I apologize that I've made you so suspicious. I... I, again, I, I don't know who I can trust, and I... I just want to make sure I keep my people safe. We can help you. I trust that you can. We certainly... I want to see your people kept safe as well. I thought you had a stick up your arse, but it looks like you had nothing but sticks. I'm kind of give you a sideways glance. Ah, come on. You've got to be a thousand years old. At least it could be... <laughs> You've heard at least one joke in your life. He takes a big sigh and just kind of shakes his head a little bit. And he points towards the wall where the symbol's kind of etched in an Orlo. You obviously now see it. You know, uh, you all see it a little bit better, but I—I I suppose none of you know what that is. No. Seen or it low, water, but it doesn't ring a bell. Orlo resists commenting on how it looks like an eyeball. Your restraint is noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Why approves. Everyone <laughs> like, <I> like this. <laughs> I think we all have that moment where we look at Orlo and go, yes, it looks like an eyeball. <laughs> <sighs> that is what some people, mostly those who control them, call a wellspring. This is... This is what many believe to be where the origins of all of the world, the power, the magic, all of it, everything comes from. It's what ties our world with those in between and those beyond. There are several of them, and up until... Earlier this afternoon, this morning, I hoped with everything inside of me that this had nothing to do with what was going on. And now I am very nervous to think that it does. So, the pool outside of Rogak's shack, would you suspect this is a source of this wellspring? No, but I expect that what caused Rogak to become what he was is originated from this type of magic, this very powerful magic. So you're gonna... Are you saying there's gonna be more occurrences like Rogak? I certainly hope not, but I'm sure it's possible. Was this from a different world? Not necessarily. It... It may have its foundations within our world. It might just be drawing its power from somewhere else. Is there any way to locate these sources of power that it's drawing from? Yes, I know where they all are. But what can we do? How do we help? I don't know. I don't... I, I need to, to think about this more. I, I'm not sure what to do. I... I spent so long just trying to protect the things around me. I, I'm, I've missed the things that have been happening further outside of my grasp. So, and, what what were you doing down here? You you were clearly trying to accomplish something. And he kind of gestures back towards the wall behind him. This room was built a very long time ago, and over the years I have 
covered and moved and rearranged things enough to stop people who may be prying from finding them, but I needed to do some more research, do some more reading and understanding of what could possibly be going on here. I don't know, and I can't be sure. I'm worried that that Granny May has something to do with all of this. I've never particularly cared for her or her magics, and I've never been able to pinpoint anything that she's done wrong, but I suspect many things. I think that makes the four of us. Yeah, um, we... When we were in Barisa, um, after Rogak changed, um, I snuck a peek at his journal. Um, he mentioned in his journal that the herbs that Granny May had been gathering had some sort of alternate use that he didn't know she knew about. You know what this use was? It didn't say. Do you know um, what they were? You can just say yes, because you guys do know what they are, but I'm not going to make you name them, because that's... Orlo, <laughs> do you remember all the herbs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, he... me, let me get them out. And I just, like, dig out my, my book that I've been writing. All the information I've been gathering about herbs. Flip through uh, and find it. Yeah. Um, so he kind of takes it and takes a look at it very briefly, and looks at you and goes, first of all, you take incredible notes for... Yeah, I wasn't go expecting. ahead and say it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go ahead and say it. Mm -hmm. For what? I did not expect it from someone such as himself. Everybody has to have a passion, all right? I suppose that is correct. But I know exactly what these are used for when combined together. They make a very powerful sleeping agent. And that concerns me more than anything else that I've seen. Is this a sleeping agent that might put you into some sort of shared dream world? It could probably do many things, honestly. I, I'm, I'm sorry to say that I am not an expert herbalist by any stretch. I just know what grows in my forest and around. But... This could certainly do something of the sort, yes. The night that we first met... The day we first met Granny May, that night, we all had a shared dream and were attacked. And it was real. We, um, One of our group woke up with um, some fabric. Would she, did she give us tea? Can't really remember. It's a little fuzzy for me. If you can forgive um, me. I will clarify and <laughs> let you know that she did not. She offered, but you guys did not drink anything. I'm not sure what she's doing with that. And it honestly gives me pause to even think about it because I have many questions about it. It could account for some of the people we've been missing as well. If she's holding them hostage in some way, I, I'm not sure. Why would she be motivated to harm anybody here? There are many types of power that come from many types of different places. Blood magic. Amaran coughs. <laughs> Blood magic. There are ways to manipulate dreams and steal powers from those. It, it's It's hard to tell from just this. Was there... Any sort of consistency or pattern to these people that have gone missing? No, every every now and then someone will go missing. It's not a determined amount of time specifically, but depending on the nature of what's going on, any individual person could last different amounts of time if they're harvesting a person, for example. It depends, I suppose. Sounds like it might be time to um, 
Pay trash can a visit. Ah, uh, trash cans, the big, the bee bag. I will cry as I'm killing him. <laughs> <laughs> you made me do this. So, do you do you think it? Do you think we should go see Granny May for any reason? And if so, should we prepare in any way? I, I can't. I can't come with you, uh, and I. I, I don't I don't want to send you alone. I, I don't know how, how to help you. The only thing that I can even feasibly do is is try to grant you some type of my power to assist you. Well, anything but help. You get in the sense that she's not necessarily to be trifled with. She's using magic to drain people of their lives and using this type of advanced potion to keep them asleep while doing it. I, I couldn't even fathom what you may be walking into. What about the, um, shit, I forgot his name. The, the gentleman that we uh, rescued out the orb, yeah? If he returns, I'll send him as soon as I can, but he's not here at the moment. Returns? Where? Where is he gone? Doing some investigation for me. That was Amriel? That one. Thank Nailed you. Nailed it. He is doing some very important reconnaissance for me. Anything we should know about? Nothing yet, but if he returns and brings news, I will let you know, I promise. And, um, do your people know you're a dragon? No. All right, I uh, suppose we can keep that secret for you. I know that it causes quite a bit of stress. I know that my people worry what my intentions are. But I can assure you that my brother and I have no harm. Well, some of them. We're here to help. Brother? Yes. I didn't realize he was your brother. I, sorry, who, who is your brother? Is this someone that we know or? I would say so, yes. Over him. Brogak. It's all red. Nailed it. You should have known. You did see him, at least to an extent, use his power. He told I me did. all about it. <laughs> Was I there for that? Uh, the, the, his eyes. Uh, that's one way, yes, but I heard he melted an entire castle full of goblins at one point. A man melted an entire castle full of goblins, and you folks never thought, "Oh, he might be a dragon." You were there. I, well, I was not. You I were mean, in the basement. Technically, <laughs> you were in the basement. Orlo, you remember when we were in um, Bracacord? Uh, hey, Orlo remembers. And <laughs> and I told you, I told you that that I saw something weird in his eyes. Yeah. You all thought, thought I was crazy. Well. Can you blame me? Look, I'm used to people seeing things that aren't there all the time, okay? I don't use the same things you do. I didn't know that. I wasn't going to pry. Oh, now you're respectful. Got it. When it serves me. Are Ovram and Luke still here? Yes. Do you think he'd be willing to go with us? We... We can't risk that. She meant Luke. Oh. No. He is, he is to go nowhere near Granny May. Why is that? I think he could help us. It's another sword for battle. Don't to meet shield, at least. 
<laughs> Orlo just walks back over <laughs> to where Sorath is. <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to be anywhere near him right now. <laughs> I'm going to cast Thunderclap. <laughs> Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave <laughs> at Emrin. Okay. Oh, you done did it now. <laughs> uh, what's the check on that? Um, that is a 15-foot cube, and that is a... <laughs> I see. Check. Constitution saving throw. I see Laya like try getting ready. Like I just see the fire in her eyes, and her, she's getting ready to do her thunder wave. And I just grab ah, Sora and start backing away little by little until we're out of range of it. Um, <laughs> that's fifteen damage, buddy. Oh no, no! As soon as you start to cast. Sorth just puts his hand up. He casts Counterspell. And he snaps his head towards you. I will not have this in my home. Yeah, Laya. <laughs> and he snaps his head back towards you. And you stop instigating can i at least punch him yes you can try orlo just sips out of his water can i'm only gonna take so much more punishment before i start fighting back fine um i cast hideous laughter <laughs> he just he starts to look at you again he goes what did I just say? It won't cause any damage. Did I ask? And do I look like I am worried about damage? And he points towards the wall that he just ripped down. <laughs> you are supposed to be a team, and I will not have this. Yeah, you know what, Sword? I keep telling them the same thing all the time, and nobody listens to me. Yeah, do he, not. And he looks at you, and he goes, I very highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, maybe not all the time, but once in a while. And he picks up his foot, and he slams it down, and it is very loud, and it echoes, and he goes, Enough before I lose my temper. You haven't lost it yet? Would you like to see me do it? Uh, not right now. Not, not right now. But maybe some other time. Oh no, I think enough is enough. <laughs> Thunderclap is one thing. I don't want to get eaten. Yeah, I wouldn't be very tasty. I'm a little gamey, you know. It's never stopped me before. Oh, uh, well, you know, my tusks might get tusks, sorry, might get stuck in your throat. You know, you don't want to choke. It's You're not going to thunderclap him. <laughs> I, I, I can't cast any more spells. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, smart. <laughs> he composes himself a little bit. And he just takes a very deep breath. I want to help. And I am not sure what the best way to do that is. I have not had much time to keep my eyes on you, and I do not know what you are equipped with and what you carry and what you are capable of. Uh, you mentioned uh, perhaps giving us a modicum of your power. Maybe, uh, what is it you had in mind? Yeah, what, what, what exactly does that entail? 
with enough materials and components, I can probably imbue some equipment for you, make you stronger, faster, whatever you need. I immediately hold up Bone Breaker. <laughs> like this? What can you do with this? Oh, I am sure many things. Well, if you need inspiration, I call him Bone Breaker. Um, make that. He's also been used on a different kind of bone as well, quite often, actually. <laughs> it just Orlo just chuckles to himself. <laughs> no. What? And <laughs> like, I'll I'll just like smile at Emran innocently and like bat my eyes a little. He reaches over and takes Bone Breaker from your hand, and he sets it on the ground, and he starts kind of weaving his hands back and forth and you see um some like roots and things sprout up from the ground and start wrapping themselves in um and around bone breaker um kind of fortifying it a little bit and then he picks it up and hands it over to you i th i think this may assist you in what you're looking for um thank you that's, that's amazing uh i didn't think you were actually gonna be able to do much with this but yeah i think uh i think this will be a little bit better at breaking those bones from here on forward and then he turns towards the two of you what um what can I do for you? What what would help you the most? As they're doing that, Orlo is like practicing with the new bro breaker, getting used to its weight and everything. Um, perhaps my um, my rapier, my dagger, and I'll like offer those up. He does something very similar. Um, with we'll we'll say the rapier specifically. Um, and then he hands that back to you. Uh, I prefer a little bit of the range battle myself, but maybe you can help me out with this bow. I'll do you one better. And he reaches off and, um, like past your, like your head and like puts his hand on your quiver and, um, you can feel some like tendrils kind of crawling up your leg and up into your, your quiver. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> it's left me all a quiver. Hey. And he stabs you in the face and you die. <laughs> Roll care. God. God damn it. Um I I appreciate your discretion with this. All of it. Absolutely. I might be a bit of a shit disturber, but even I know not when the fuck with a dragon. I want you to know that I believe that you will be a fantastic tool to help solve this problem. I think that you are exactly what we needed, and my brother was very right bringing you here. We don't truly know what the problem is or where it's originating from. And already, in such a short time, you have accomplished so much. And I want you to know how much I appreciate that. If there's anything else I can do before you head towards Granny Maze, please let me know and I will make it happen. We will uh, we'll put some thought to it and uh, let you know. We'll, uh, we'll stay in contact. I know where you'll be. Um, perhaps before we go, we should speak with Olvram, see if he has any insight. I'll have him meet you. 
I wish you well and good luck. And please, like I said, let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thank you. And um, sorry again for um, following you. You don't have to apologize. Orlo notices everybody walking away. He's like, oh, then go ahead now. All right. Um, Thoreth, uh, th thanks for everything. This, this is great. Um, we'll we'll do what we can. You know, start catching up to everybody else. Oh, I feel bad for hating the fucker. Yeah, well. So, so we're going to take on a witch is where we're at. That's what's happening. <sighs> That's about the long and short of it, yeah. But well, we have the power of the forest on our side. Great. 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 Does anybody know what the power of the forest does? No. Uh, um, hopefully it's some sort of anti-witch something or other. <laughs> Is it too late to turn back and ask? <laughs> Emery's just going to put his hand on your shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we're figuring this one out on our own yet again. Okay, great. Just in the heart of the forest. Glad we're all on the same page. As we're walking down the hallway, it's dark again, yeah? Correct. I'm going to punch Emmerin in the face. <laughs> He'll never see it coming. Uh, Yeah, go ahead. Make an attack. 17 to hit. 17 Can is a miss. Are you fucking kidding me? I have an AC of 18. You bitch! <laughs> so, Laya swings. She hits you, but... Wasn't the best of punches. It's dark. It's hard to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke stays out of it. It was just kidding, Laya. I don't want anybody else involved in this either. Fuck, I barely want to be involved in it. We should also um, find someone to watch the little one. He just like kind of bounces a little bit. Because I'm assuming he's still sitting on your shoulder. I would like that. And he pulls I... out his sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure Sorithan, I'm sure Sorith and Overham will make sure that he's well looked after. I don't know about you, but I'm happy to leave anybody with that I care about with a pair of fucking dragons. Watch your language. What is? Am I supposed to call them something else? Do they prefer like, like the lizard, the lizard-like? What, what is it that I'm supposed to call them? I'm sorry. Just don't curse in front of. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, little one. Of course, we were happy to leave you with the fucking lizards. <laughs> and he just gives you a thumbs up and yeah. then walks up. <laughs> crushed it you know buttonhead sometimes i think you're the smartest of us <laughs> <laughs> um so you guys will go ahead and make your way out um is there anything else you want to do on the way out like in his office or anything like that did you want to look at anything else or look for anything else I think personally, I'm going to leave his shit alone. I feel like I've disturbed enough of his shit today. Um, I wouldn't mind taking a, just a, a look around his little library area to see if there's anything about um, my order or like blood magic. Um, the state of the library is not great. Um, there is shit literally everywhere. If you want to spend some time looking, um, I'm sure you could find something. It would just be a matter of how long you're willing to spend there. I would say he's not probably too, too into it. So let's say like an hour, maybe. Okay. Um, and now are you, are you talking in the library library or in his office specifically? To a half hour in each. <laughs> okay. Because there's definitely going to be some things you'll be able to find in the library pretty easily um, because it's that's very well organized. Um, and most of what you'd find in there would probably just be like very basic information, like actual like members lists and like just very generic things that you like anybody could possibly know. Gotcha. Cool. Um, in his office, 
you might find a page or two of just like some of the more in-depth pieces of your order, like things that maybe only like some of the higher level members would know, things that you would probably know, um, but nothing that you wouldn't know. Okay. Uh, and then, like I said, we will um, have you guys make your way back to the inn um, where Overham and Luke will be waiting for you, uh, as well as many drinks and some food as per Zrinka tradition. And um, we will go ahead and call it there for the night because I think any more than that, we're going to get very involved.